Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be making a cat clicker game and if you want to do it on something else then sure and this will probably be another 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 episodes of clicking games and we'll possibly go into upgrades and UI and score variables and lots of stuff like that but before we begin making this cute cat able to click then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and let's get on with the video. So, this is probably going to be a pretty big series, so I'm going to be using a lot of custom blocks so that we can sort everything out, because it's going to get pretty big later. So, the first thing you need to do, you can put when green flag clicked, and don't worry about the cap blocks. You can get scratch extensions, and if you want me to make a video on how to get that, I'll probably do. So, put if when green flag clicked, and make a new custom block and call it reset run without screen refresh okay so put this reset somewhere else and put the reset block under the one green flag clicked then put a forever loop and leave it empty for now so for the define reset we need to make three new variables one called total cats with an underscore in the beginning to make sure that it appears at the top and press OK. Another one called cats per second. And then one more called cats per click. And I forgot to put spaces in cats per second, silly me. Autocorrect. And then you can press these blue ticks to remove all of them. And you might be wondering how we're actually going to see how many cats we have. But I have this really cool score system that it's it has these 10 costumes, oh, 11 costumes, numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And don't forget the zero. And then one more sign that I just call dollars. So it's kind of like a currency. So this is almost like a red cat. So I put the dollar sign as the costume name and make sure that every number is named after its number. So costume seven has a seven in it. So we'll go back to the click and put the set total cats to zero, set cats per second to zero, and make sure that set cats per click is to one and not zero. And then switch costume to click. And I also forgot, we need to have another sprite called Particle, which is the particle you want that to come out whenever you click the cat. So for me, I like to use this heart, and once again, thanks to Shift Click Learn for all this art. So check out his channel. So Shift Click Learn is a scratcher, and he makes lots of cool tutorials, and he supplied lots of art for this, especially the cats, which I would have never been able to draw. So after you watch this video, go check out his channel. So in the code, we need to put to when green flag clicked and another forever loop, and then forever change total cats by cats per second divided by 32 which means that there are 32 frames every second in a scratch project which means that in exactly one second then cats per second would have if there was one cats per second and you change it every frame by a 30 second it will be one cat per second so that's just the math if you don't want to know about that then just leave it and then make a new custom block called click slash slash can click and then a colon and then add an input i mean delete the input and add an input of boolean input and name this can click then press run run without screen refresh and then press ok so this is just defining whether we can click or not so put this can click somewhere tidy and put the can click in the forever loop. And then you need to put an and in here and a less than in the second slot and name it 60 instead of 50. Then go to sensing and put a distance to mouse pointer in, in the second slot and a mouse down in the first slot. 
So this is just detecting whether our mouse is close enough to the object that we can actually click it. So for the define can click, we just need to put an if can click, then change total cats by cats per click, which means every time you click, then it will change your total amount of cats by how much you get every click, which is one. So it'll change it by one so far. And in this video, we're only going to be do clicking. Maybe next episode, we can do upgrades and cats per second. And then broadcast click. And then finally, put another new block called click effects and run without screen refresh. And then put the click effects in here. Okay, so next we need to go to the click effects. So put a change size by 25. And for now, please don't have your project running. So switch to green flag and then press the stop. Don't click the cat yet. So change size by 25, create clone of myself, switch costume to click two or the kind of squashed version of click one, which looks pretty cool, but you really just need to squeeze it. And then put a wait until not mouse down and then switch costume back to click. So this should look pretty cool, but you shouldn't try it out yet because if this just keeps changing size by 25, it's eventually gonna reach the size of the entire screen, which I think is 800, I'm not too sure. So now we need to make an effects block, which will make sure that our, our click will not be too big or too small. So we need to make a new custom block called effect slash slash x position with a colon, then put x position in an input, then add a label that says y position with a colon, and then y position as an input. And then one more. So add an input, put, I mean, add a label, delete that, and put direction with a colon and an input of direction. Run without screen refresh and press OK. So this should have a giant heck of a block. And to make this actually work, these are some pretty cool scratch tricks I know you'll love. So put if distance to mouse pointer is less than 60, then change size by put a divide and then inside the divide put a minus and then in the middle slot put a size block like that and then put a 110 on the left side and a 3 on the right side duplicate that but instead change the values to 90 and 6 so basically what this is doing is it always keeps the sprite size the same so I'm going to try clicking the cat. Hang on, there's nothing running for the effect position. So we need to put a when green flag clicked forever effect position of let's say zero x position minus 25 y position and 90 direction. And the reason why it's 90 is because Scratch always makes zero to the left. So if you have your Scratch sprites like this and not turned on the side, then it should be 90. So now you can see, as I hover over the cat, it gets bigger and smaller, which is cool. Then if I click, it creates a clone of itself. But whoopsie, this clone is supposed to be a particle. What have I done wrong? This is a big problem. So put a when I start as a clone block and then go to mouse pointer and then set size to pick random, let's say 15 to 25, which means the hearts will be random sizes. Then switch costume to particle and then point in direction after pick random 
let's say 75 to 105 which means it'll be pointing either left or right then make a new sprite new variable called clone vel and put it for this sprite only and then set clone vel to 5 give me a sec Okay, so this clone vel block will tell how fast our sprite is moving left or right to make sure that it falls down at the right speed. So put an if else and I put if pick random one to two is equal to one, then repeat 100, change y by clone vel. And then turn clone vel degrees. And then move three steps. And then change clone vel by negative 0 0.8, which I found works pretty well. So you can use whatever you really like, but just make sure it's a negative number or else they'll all fly up to the ceiling which you might want in like some kind of alien game and then put a go to front layer and then put a delete this clone at the very end then duplicate this but instead put the opposites so put change y by clone vel but then put a turn left by clone vel degrees and then move minus three steps change clone vel by minus 0 0.8 and then the same thing so basically what this is doing is making the particle go up and down smoothly like with the gravity so let's test this out as you can see there are particles coming out but they're just rolling around on the bottom which looks pretty stupid so we need them to kind of slowly disappear so make a, another when i start as a clone block and then put set ghost effect to zero. And then wait 0 0.1 seconds. Repeat 20. Change ghost effect by five. And then finally delete this clone. So you don't actually need this delete this clones here so you can just remove that and when you have this here it will make the sprites disappear once they've finished rolling around so if i click the cat a particle is made and nice animation like it looks beautiful so i just need to let's say tick this run without screen refresh off for this effect position and it'll be less laggy possibly or it's the can click one of them needs to not be run without screen refresh maybe it's the can click yes so make sure you disable the can click run without screen refresh or else it'll lag a lot so now this looks pretty cool and i'm going to probably end the episode soon but i still feel there's something missing so i just wanted to make a color speed value so you can change your color but i think we should save that for next episode where you have an upgrade that can change the color of your cat so i hope you like this video and i can't believe that we got 600 views on my last video in just six hours i just didn't know it was possible so thank you to whoever watched my last videos and follows my scratch tutorials and if you ever post them then please feature me and feature my youtube channel if you're really nice so don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one